All right. Um, why is the left say Ayn Rand admired a serious killer? What's the story behind it? Um, why does the left say it? Because they want to, they want to, in a quick, easy way, they want to denounce her and they want you not to take her seriously. And, uh, you know, for you to figure out what was actually said, you'd actually have to go and read her journals and you have to figure out exactly what she meant and how she said it and so on. And it's a lot of work and it's much easier just to say, well, I mean, she was nuts because she, she, you know, admired a serial killer. And of course, that's not the story, right? I mean, she called this serial killer uh, or this killer a, uh, a monster. She, you know, uh, she used... The story, first of all, she wrote this in her journals for her alone. Uh, this was never meant to be published. But she was using the story of the serial killer to, to, to attack the culture in which this happened and the attitude of people to it. So she, one of the things she says is their attitude towards him wasn't moral indignation for the terrible crime he committed. He, she said it was the mob's murderous desire to revenge its hurt vanity against a man who dared to be alone. So it's, it's it, what she saw in him, because he was supposedly really smart, this, this killer was really, really smart. And, uh, it, and she saw in him the potential of being a great man and he chose to be a monster. And it, what she says is it's not, the culture didn't turn on him because of he's a monster, but because of his, of his characteristics that could have, if he chosen differently, could have made him a different human being, a, a, a positive human being, an individualistic human being. But you have to read what she actually said about it. And she uses it as a, as a way to evaluate the culture itself, right? And, and to talk about the, 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 the attitude of society. But him, she viewed as a monster. She says, yes, he is a monster. That's a direct quote from her journal. And she, she at least speculates about that part of the cause that drove him to this monstrosity is the state of the culture in which we're in. And you'd have to read her claim. And again, she was young. If this was for publication, she would have never written it like this. It's her jotting down her thoughts as they cross her mind about this issue. But no, Ayn Rand rejected all forms of uh, murder of immorality as immoral as 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 horrific as evil um and she you know she 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 suddenly rejected all you know forms of violating another human being's rights as evil and wrong and immoral so there's nothing to this story nothing using the super chat and i noticed yesterday when i appealed for uh, support for the show Many of you stepped forward and actually uh, supported the show for the first time. So I'll do it again. Maybe we'll get some more today. Um, if you like what you're hearing, if you appreciate what I'm doing, then I appreciate your support. Uh, those of you who don't yet support the show, please take this opportunity. Go to yourronbrookshow.com slash support or go to subscribestar.com, your own book show, and, um, and, and make a kind of a monthly contribution uh, to, keep this, uh, to keep this going. I'm not sure when the next...